Hello everybody, this is Father Trevor Peterson once again here at the cathedral and today we celebrated St. Matthew the Apostle, right? And uh, there's so many things we can learn about St. Matthew, uh, even learn about ourselves. <clears throat> and uh, you know, we know that he was a tax collector and probably not looked upon that greatly. But we can sure see how God worked through him, right? So we all know that he was called, and when he was called by Jesus to follow him, that he responded immediately. But we can go even deeper. Like, what did he feel when Jesus, actually a Jewish, said, follow me? I Basically, I want you. I know you. I recognize you. Matthew, come, follow me. I wonder what he was thinking at that time. The joy, the amazement, right? In his heart. I don't even know. I don't think anyone can know. But then I wonder what happened with the disciples, the apostles, those who were following him at that time when he called the tax collector to come follow me. There must have been some hope. Maybe there was curiosity like, wonder why he wants a tax collector or maybe there's excitement jesus maybe like hey jesus is calling him he's maybe saving him whatever maybe there was that joy as when one person goes into the confessional hall all the angels all the, all of heaven rejoices over that one sinner going to the, the confessional there's that deep feeling that we don't really are not able to know because they don't tell us. But we can sure ponder on that, think about that throughout our day, right? But also we can relate to him, to St. Matthew. How does God work in our lives? Maybe you're like me who who was a, a, well, a Catholic cradle, as we would say, but wasn't actually practicing his uh, faith, right? But then God <laughs> uh, calls, right? Called me, and then not like other, unlike St. Matthew did immediately, I took a few years, right, to follow him. But that joy that I felt when I finally was able to know where I'm supposed to be, right? That time that first time in many 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 over 20 years of not going to confession going to the confession for the first time in over 20 years to know that feel of that love that compassion and that forgiveness and then working and growing in my faith maybe you have the same story as i do but there's one thing i've always worried about is the people that knew me when i was younger right what are they going to say? Boy, they're going to judge me. How, how, who are you? You know, like you're the one that um, drank a lot or you're the one that loved the party. You're the one that swore all the time. But then I had to teach myself, don't think that way. <laughs> but think of it as how to look at what God did in my life. I can, I can be a great example to my family and to my friends, my old friends for sure, and how Jesus can tear down anyone's heart, barrier around their heart, to conform their heart into that of Jesus's, right? How he converts people. So I started thinking, I can be a great example, not for my own glory, but for the glory of God, to show people that, yeah, we can change. There is hope to get away from these addictions, get, to get away from these, the, the, our weaknesses, right? Because we all have them. But there is hope, and he, God does give us strength to do it, gives us the grace to be able to do that, and a lot of discipline, right? And so we can learn a lot with St. Matthew. And yes, we always turn to that God calls, he immediate responds. But look at how the, the apostles accepted him. Although he was a tax collector, but the, his followers, the apostles, accepted him right away. And Jesus called him. And the excitement 
in all of these characters, right? Matthew, the apostles, the disciples. Just like all of heaven, when we go to confession, when we start loving God through our obedience to God and to do his will, the excitement that heaven has and the excitement that the church has for each of you who, who get, receives that gift of the grace of conversion. Ponder on that. Where did God work in you, right? So let's keep us in prayer that we may grow deeper in our faith, that we may uh, grow in uh, virtue, especially humility and charity. St. Matthew, pray for us. God bless.